So I took a picture of this data that I created just from using a marker and a plain piece of paper. Now let's see if Excel can import that information into our worksheet. The first thing we need to do is click on the data tab and then go to from picture, click that drop arrow, and then picture from file. I'm gonna look for the file that I need. I've got this picture here saved, so I'll just double click. And I'm not sure it's actually gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I'm not gonna look, I'm just gonna double click and hope that it works. And it's loading on the right, let's see. And it actually worked. Oh, check it out, it did, look at that. So for the most part it did, but you can see this name in the middle, it didn't quite get what that was, but the S that I wrote was particularly messy. So. Uh, but this gives us an opportunity to fix that. So just make sure the lighting is good when you're doing this. Make sure that you don't have any folds in your paper and make sure you do this neatly. So imagine if you did all of those things, um, it would probably get this 100%. But if, you, if it doesn't, you can just click on this, click review, and then I'll just type in what we need. So Sanjay, and then press accept. So you can just quickly just edit anything that Excel might've made a mistake on when it comes to importing your picture. But when you're done that, just click insert data. And then it asks you, are you sure you wanna do that? Yep, I do. And in this one, it, I do have to delete some rows. So it did, wasn't perfect, but it's pretty close. And it saves, it, it saves you a lot of time. So imagine how much time was saved just by taking a picture and then just doing it this way. So really cool feature in Microsoft Excel. Now this skill can help you improve your workflow, but if you want to improve your Excel skill set and want to see the in-demand skills that you have to know for Excel, check out the videos on your screen right now, and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.